most analyst forecasts about nickel demand are wrong. Um, most people use uh, forecasts of two to three percent, um, which is typically what you see with copper and zinc. Nickel over long periods of time always grows at four to five percent a year. You will not see very many, if any, analysts have four or five percent for any period of time. And again, this is not including electric vehicles. This is just from stainless steel. When you then add in uh, growth forecasts, I've got Glencore from about a year and a half ago, which is sort of a middle of the pack forecast in terms of nickel from EVs. You know, you can see today, you know, a very small amount of that nickel uh, is overall nickel demand uh, is for the EV market, but you can see how it's going to rapidly grow. Again, this is an area where people are really not paying enough attention and discounting how much nickel the EV market is going to use. Um, for those of you who have not seen Tesla's battery day presentation, I would highly encourage you to go watch it. Tesla has a target of three terawatts of battery production by 2030. Even assuming a good portion of that will be used to make lithium iron phosphate, which they're going to use in their lower end applications. Uh, Tesla alone will need one to one and a half million tons of new nickel. Uh, you know, Glencore's forecast was 1.3 million tons for the entire industry. And Tesla doesn't have, uh, believe that they're going to be 100% of the market. Uh, again, people think of just EVs, but we're talking about buses, pickup trucks, semi trucks. You know, those are all going to be electrified. The you know the bigger the vehicle and, and the more demanding the application, the more nickel is going to be needed. So, again, I would view these forecasts as conservative.